inequality. <clears throat> I know I want to get the y by itself, so I'm subtracting the x, which I saw so many of you do. What's wrong with the y here right now? It's negative. Which means what is invisible there? Negative 1. So I'm going to divide the whole thing by negative 1. Mm -hmm. And what's it going to do to all of the negatives and positives? So it's in the positive and the negative and the positive. Perfect. All the negatives will become positive and all the positives will become negative. What happens to the symbol? It flips. Okay, so y is less than x minus 3. And I'm going to go graph that line, starting where? Negative 3. Yeah, I'm going to box it because this is messy. Thank you for the idea, Soror. And then I love graphing when it's just x because that's just 1 over 1. And you just go up the next step. Is it going to be a solid or a dashed line? And is it going to be under or uh, over for shading? <coughs> Let me see where we're at. Thumbs up, sideways. Okay. Starting to feel a little bit better. Okay. okay, the second equation, I'm going to have to do a couple things here as well because the X is here. And the y has the 2 with it. I always try to start with the opposite from the y. 2y is less than negative x plus 6. Next step, everyone. Okay. When I divide by 2, the y gets by itself. I divide it by a positive, so my symbol stays the same. And then the negative x divided by 2 is going to become negative 1 half x plus 3. Where does this one start on the y-axis? Okay. I'm thinking about slope, dude. What kind of line am I going to have? So I'm going to go down 1 and over 2. <clears throat> down 1 and over 2. Solid or dashed line? And where's my shading go? Remember, our solutions are only going to be in the space that's double shaded. So any XY pair that's in this area is going to work. Can I pick a point on either one of these lines? No. Because they're not inclusive, right? The solid line means it can be there, but the dashed line means it cannot. Okay. With that, 